Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Weenus, and I'm joined by Double Dam. Double Dam, hello! Hello! Hey! Thanks for joining me hey. and co-casting. Yeah. We have a, we have an exciting match uh, for Division E, which stands for excitement. And uh, we have yeah. Cerebral Gaming versus One More hello. Fight. Woot woot! Uh, our Prebs, thank you very much for the uh, uh, subscribe with Prime 16 minutes ago. Uh, it, we weren't live quite yet, but uh, I appreciate it. Hey, hey, in chat says double. All right, so we have the teams in the lobby. Uh, we did the map flips and the coin picks and the reverse of that, which is how it really should go. And let's take a look at those real quick. Boop. <clears throat> All right, Cerebral Gaming, they won the coin flip. They decided that they wanted map pick. They banned out Braxis Dragonshire. One more fight, banned out Sky Temple and powers of doom and we have picked up infernal shrines by cerebral gaming as map number one so uh no surprise things are looking spicy doubles like you know what infernal shrines again and i'm like yeah but it's different yeah. every time Just... <laughs> now uh, I'm all right so we are missing one and then we will get this underway uh, thank you very much for the follow, Newton Rocks. I appreciate it. Welcome, Dax. Welcome to chat. Good to see you. Dax will be casting a Div C West game with me at 8.30. So stay tuned for that Pacific time. Ooh, we may have a full lobby double. Show uh -oh. me that full lobby. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to get into this game. This I'm is when... I'm ready. Ready! Uh, so far... Cerebral Howdy. hasn't dropped a, m a map yet, but it is only week two. So we'll, let's see if one more fight can can bring it. Uh, 
I am unsure of one more fight's performance last week, so we could check on that perhaps. Uh, let me see if, if the teams are ready. Uh, there's always a joke about, hey, I want the, you know, because the, the game will just throw people in on random sides and they're like, hey, no, I want that person back when the game decides to give one team a, a, a teammate from, from an opponent's uh, team. And uh, they're like, no, I wanted to keep them. It would be funny if you just had to play the match however the players fell into draft, like into the in, into the lobby. Yeah. Uh, goal. Sounds like Breezy some exhibition minute. play. Great. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like uh, looks like both captains are ready, and uh, let's get into game one. I do like in trying to infernal shrines. Let's try to repeat that. That's always fun. Like Sky Temple is kind of boring, but like that one, infernal shrines. You get the really like infernal shrines. And, like people are like, mm, my neighbors are reporting me. I've been reported by my neighbors. <laughs> like uh, the police are on their way. There's some crazy person. Guy and his shrines. I don't know. Every night at 6.30 p.m. <laughs> Pacific, he just starts yelling about them shrines. All right, so one more fight. They are going to get the first ban, first hero pick of the match. Do we expect some, maybe some Deathwing, some KT, maybe some Zool, maybe all of those fun ones. I don't know. Maybe they dump some scouting. What do you think, Double? Call it. Ah! Uh, ah. Death wing. All right, Dragon Boy. Maybe next time. <laughs> so first pick is gonna go to one more fight. So cerebral gaming. If they don't want them to pick something, they need to get rid of it right now. It's gonna be Anduin. Anduin. Hmm. They don't want those yeets. They don't want those yeets of faith going <laughs> on. I'm never going to be able to remember what that was actually called. What is it actually called? Life Grip? Uh, is that uh, what? I don't know. I think it might be it's Life Grip. Faith. I'm, I thought it was. No, it doesn't have faith in it at all. That's why oh. it's super funny. That's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it even worse. When he just yanks someone, we call it the yeet, yeet of faith, even though it has nothing to do with that. Ether ban. Ooh, some spicy bans already. Maybe Zul, maybe KT. KT's really good on shrines. Ooh. Kind of expect the first pick KT, but you never know. Maybe there's not a KT player on one more fight side. We shall see. Oh, look, we have an Ewok. May the fourth be with you. We do, and an Echo. And I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, that's Echo, that's not Ewok. Aha. All right, we do get a KT. Yeah, a KT. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Ooh. And a Diablo Phoenix. Spicy Diablo Phoenix coming right back up. Excellent. All right, so it looked like Cerebral Gaming was ready for that. They were ready to go to town. Mm -hmm. I do like Diablo on Infernal Shrines. It's because, you know, when you get into that shrine, there's just so many walls just to bam, bam, bam. I was going to say, I like Joe, and she got picked up. Excellent. Battle of the Tanky Boys. I like it. Midnight Fire, and there's <laughs> Ewok playing a cute little Rhaegar. <laughs> Look at him in his reindeer outfit. That's right. <clears throat> okay, so we're still looking for maybe an offlaner, although Phoenix could do that here for Cerebral Gaming, as well as a healer. Maybe yeah, another maybe. ranged sound. Oh, no. oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Let's see, what are we banning? Maybe some kind of DPS? I don't know. Draw. Draw. Banning an offlaner, yes. Offlaner still up for uh, up for grabs here for one more fight and cerebral gaming, so could be the next choke point. Although maybe we'll see a healer ban here for healer one more ban, fight. Yeah. yeah. Absolutes. Toots toots, absolutes. Honk honk toot toot. <laughs> I guess that's a honk honk toot toot, my bad. Oh. Jaina. Jaina. Uh, there is some really good synergy between Phoenix and Jaina with the with the combined slows, so that's no something. No frostiness from her today. Yeah. No Nova, that... nice, I love Divi. Oh my goodness. Nova Lucio. 
this is fantastic. I love it. Uh, I would love this in any division. Oh, yes, I know. Same. Same Z. I just love Divi. Gosh. I know. There's nothing wrong with loving Divi. Everyone loves Divi. Uh, I'm let's... glad it's back. Absolutely. I'm just looking at my soundboard. I'm like, oh, can't play that. Can't play that. Can't play that. Oh. Ooh, and a tracer. <laughs> There's your Sonya. Nice. Yep, All right. You. Good stuff. Okay, who's gonna finish out the blue, uh, the blue roster list here for uh, heroes? And it's gonna be Tyrael. Interesting. Okay. Mecha Tyrael. I like it. Very exciting. All right. Well, we are going to get into uh, this match in just a minute. We're just in the swap round. Everybody's gonna trade. Uh, trade to someone they don't know how to play no i'm just kidding sometimes teams will freak each other out and they'll be like swap and they'll be like oh no we forgot to swap back before stuck. the game started yeah <laughs> all right here we go we will be right back into the game one but uh, as we load in here are your teams see you in a minute Well, we almost made it. We're loading in. We're getting there. <laughs> Patreon in the meantime. Play it. Go. Roll it. All right, here we go. Excellent. Game one on Infernal Shrines. On the left-hand side, we have Cerebral Gaming with Gold Breezy playing the Tyrael. We have Noval's Waifu <laughs> playing the Nova. We have Kaiza playing the Phoenix. We have John Us or John US playing the Lucio. And, oh yes, we do have Sleepy Bear on the Diablo. What do we got over for one more fight double? So, red side, right side, one more fight. Johanna, Midnight Fire, Tracer, played by Hellstorm. Rhaegar is Ewok, Helfoss, Lord Gaix, I hope. Sonia, Echo. Echo. Echo, 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 Echo. All right, here we go. Tracer, brave and in the front. On that shark. The cavalry is here indeed. All right. <clears throat> so people, uh, both, both these teams are just going to smash into each other at the very beginning here, but uh, making a move on Echo. Sleepy Bear gets a little bit of a toss around. And now we're going to see a four-man rotation here from one more fight go down to bottom. They're going to get that soak. Did you see Nova slink down there as well? Advanced targeting picked up here by Phoenix. Going to be stacking those plasma yeah. cutters. Johanna doing a good job uh, keeping them entertained while her team was bottom. The rotation went a little bit faster. Are you not entertained? <laughs> every time, every time. We do have uh, Mana Attic picked up by KT. There will be no convection this game. Laws of Hope picked up by the Johanna. And we have uh, Toughest Nails picked up by Sonya getting that block. And we have an early, well, right on top of it camp picked up for one more fight. They're taking their Siege camp. And we're going to see the same thing coming from Cerebral Gaming as well. It's going to take them a little bit longer to clear that. Sonya and Diablo hanging out. In the yeah, place. Sleepy Bear versus Echo up there. Seems like Sleepy Bear might have a problem, but so far Echo is down a little bit. We'll see how that exchange goes in just a yeah. little bit. Those fire shots, if he slams you into the tower, it's going to hurt. Welcome to chat, Tiger. Toss around, he says. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Diablo likes to throw everybody around when he gets the chance and wall smash them. 
I think that's Tiger's favorite part about this game is smashing people into walls as Diablo. <laughs> Bottom camp, Siege camp is going to get taken here by one more fight. As we see that we're going to have the Bruiser camp started here by Cerebral Gaming. We do have bribe, uh, convert, <laughs> covert mission for bribe stacks picked up here for Nova. So she's going to be looking on bribe and camps. Always annoying when deep within your own lines, your camp suddenly turns the color of the enemy team. And you're like, what just happened? What's going on? Why? <laughs> All right. So, Wonder go ahead. where that was going. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. The bribe stacks. Yeah. No. Uh, anyway. The shrine is now active. <laughs> Rager's gonna go back. He wants to go back for some mana. He was thirsty. Thirsty puppers. Yeah. Tyrael's gonna stay bottom. Hey, what's up, Sparrow? Welcome, sir. All right, here we're gonna start fighting a little bit below the shrine. Echo's taking quite a bit of damage. Diablo trying to get a hook on him, but Sonya is the first blood of the game and goes down. Fighting is far from over there. There's a huge wall bang. Yeah. On to Tracer. Tracer getting chased, but so quick. It's going to make it back in time, back behind the wall. Shrine hasn't been activated yet. It is available, but... Ooh, there's a big flip and a big stun onto Ewok. And there's another kill going over to Cerebral Gaming. Talent to your advantage for just a moment as they do have sevens. Sleepy Bear, though, taking quite a bit of damage, having to back up just a little bit, and the Shrine has been activated. Woo! Tigerfish, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Welcome, Seos98. Good to see you. Uh, Cerebral Gaming cleared the camp, healed up, and they're going to come back in on the Shrine. Still anyone shrine now as both teams have everybody up and alive and the fighting will continue. Sleepy Bear getting targeted for most of the damage is going to back up a little bit. The Gold Breezy is going to be the next lowest. Watch out. Lucio making it back. Gold Breezy getting too low. Trying to get some trait value though. Looking Very for that nice tracer. tracer. Oh! Gets the tracer with the trait value. Very nice. Uh, we did lose Phoenix there to KT. Must have been the Flames. Sorry, I missed that. Or I just wasn't looking. So now it looks like one more fight is, is going to take this Shrine. And so uh, Cerebral Gaming decides that they want to get the Soak. There's a lot Five of it mid. Minions. A lot of the Soak mid. There's a big wave bottom. Looks like Lucio's going to zoom, zoom down there with his beat and his jams. And his beat and jam. Beat jam. Yeah. Arcane Punisher activated for one more fight. Walking up to the walls, doing a little hopscotch. Do the limbo dance. The nasty limbo Punisher, yes. <laughs> All right, the first Punisher is uh, gonna go down pretty quickly, but one more fight does a good job of getting the entire front wall and both of the towers and Looks like they're going to get most of this yeah. port, if not the whole thing. KT not able to escape. Uh, does go down, so there is uh, another kill for Cerebral Gaming. But uh, that fort does go down, so well played. Good defense, good push at the same time. Yeah, Echo's going to clear the camp mid. She has been... Well, Sonia has been hanging out down there with Diablo. Ektar says it's pronounced Cola Can. Hmm. I was told it was Co's. Hey, who? Oh, I was just talking with chat a little bit. <laughs> I can never tell if Ektar is serious because uh, he has a great sense of humor and he has says it very dryly. There we go. Oh, there's a big oh. stun. There comes the Planet Cracker. Lucio gets the kill though on Rhaegar. Here comes Sound Barrier. Uh, and this camp is stolen by Cerebral Gaming and well played. Lucio getting the kill on KT. Oh my goodness. Midnight Fire. Making sure that Tracer gets out. But can Midnight Fire get out? Taking a lot of fire and it's not even midnight quite yet. <laughs> Alright. So we do have Heroics online here for both teams now. 
Diablo and Sonya fighting back up in the top lane. So on the side of Cerebral Gaming, we're looking at Judgment here from Tyrael, Sound Barrier from Lucio, Precision Strike there from Nova, Apocalypse from Diablo, and Planet Cracker from the Phoenix. That's a lot of wombo combo. Yeah. Uh, one more one more fight. Uh, Johanna has <clears throat> Blessed Shield, Tracer took Quantum Spike, Gregar Bloodlust, Kalthos Phoenix, and Sonya, Wrath of the Berserker. Ooh, I love a Bloodlust, Rhaegar. Nova looking to steal that camp there. Did get interrupted, so good defense there by one more fight. As they claim their own camp and do not let it get taken. There's the camp that's going to be pushed in the top lane. The camp is available, though, for Cerebral Gaming, and Diablo is going to step on that right now. Does have 100 souls, so he is a tanky boy. We do have 11... I'm hanging out off lane, though, so... Yeah, the off lane, you can't really push too much further in the top lane, right? Because mm -hmm. you don't want to go too far now that you've taken down that fort. So who knows? Maybe Sonya's going to switch to another lane. I don't know. Nova... Scouting out the other t enemy team here. <laughs> ah! Here comes Apocalypse. And a combo with Planet Cracker. And down goes KT. Brutal combo there. I like it. Right before Shrine 2, but they will be back online before the Shrine is activatable. I mean, this camp and cannon still going at the wall. <laughs> it goes down. Uh-huh. Sonya clearing top a little bit. All right, so here is the siege camp. Okay, I have been cor corrected. It's Seos. Or Seos. Seos? Seos. All right. <laughs> Face palm <laughs> from Sparhawk <laughs> in the chat. Oh, Shrine is active. Double, what's going on? Oh. It's absolute <laughs> chaos as everybody is vying for attention. Down goes the Phoenix. Doing a little bit of zoning there. And Sleepy Bear is getting chased. There is the bomb from Tracer. Tracer going for the kill. Does get the kill there. And it looks like one more fight is going to be taking one more Punisher, possibly. Well, I guess their first Punisher. But so far, they are controlling this this, uh, this shrine quite well. They have 22 of the minions, but here comes Cerebral Gaming. Boom! Nova gets the kill there on the Tracer. Now, once again, it's a 4v4. Midnight Fire is getting low, and Diablo is back. Has returned after the 100 souls go down. Oh, and one more fight has to back off a little bit. It's close, only seven, yeah. six more minions needed. <laughs> Big APOC. Yeah, yeah. Phoenix doing clearing things. Off the... Yeah, and there we go. I take that back. Uh, one more fight did get the first Punisher. This is the first Punisher for <laughs> Cerebral Gaming. Cerebral Gaming, yeah. Let me just, re <laughs> let me just uh, fix what I said about a minute ago. All right, 10 minute Punisher. This is the Mortar Punisher, so he will create walls for you. He's not an online Punisher, he's a brick and mortar. Terrible joke, Sweena, stop now while Aww. you're behind. <laughs> Bottom fort will go down though. <laughs> and in the, meanwhile, in the top lane, it's Diablo. Diablo versus Sonya. Sonya. An interesting matchup there. Yeah. Ooh, she oh, she's gonna be able to this camp. Oh, though. she's thinking about it, but it's Dangeroso. All right, it will be started by one more fight. Oh, Gold Breezy, stepping up. And here comes a big, big planet cracker, knocking. Oh, wow, knocking Rhaegar back into it. Echo's in trouble as well. Go down. Yeah, all right, that's a double kill going over for Cerebral Gaming. Double kill. Wah, 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 wah. Double kill. All right, so there is some stuff to clean up, though, for both teams at this point. Bottom's going to be cleaned a little bit by Tracer with her vacuums set on fully automatic. And then they're going to try for the Cerebral Gaming's going to try for one more fight through their camp. KT, get Two down me. and Tracer in the bottom. I think this one goes to Cerebral Gaming. 
should be able to get it. Absolutely. Lord Gaiax got to drop back just a little bit. Yep. Gonna hearth fill back up. And this camp is probably just gonna get cleaned a little bit. But uh, 16 to 15, we do have talent tier advantage for the moment. This Cerebral Gaming. 10 to 3 as far as kills. Uh, but pretty even as far as structures go. These late game punishers really making a difference uh, on pushing. Yeah, securing some kills right before the shrine. We'll oh, see. Turn the tide and see what happens. Ah, yes. It's a tide ad. No, it's not. <laughs> it's an NGS match. All right, so we're gonna see the uh, camp getting picked up by Cerebral Gaming up at the top left, and in the bottom, maybe a little push? No, one more fight is going to, to break off from there and defend their mid fort, which is now under attack from the siege camp. Here comes Judgment. Nice unstoppable there by Tracer, and yeah, here- Yeah, Tony on the back line with Nova and Phoenix. My goodness, and it is Lucio who goes down. Golbreezy's in trouble running. Here comes Diablo running through the gates, slapping Echo around. Echo spinning to escape and will be able to get out. Midnight Fire getting low, though. Very good. Let's see. Did Rhaegar? Yes, Rhaegar picked up the cleanse, I believe. That saved, uh, probably saved Tracer's life there. Tracer doesn't have an unstoppable, does she? No. 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 Yeah. Nice cleanse timing there by Ewok. Love to see it. And the shrine will be started here by one more fight. Looking at a 15, maybe 16 minute Punisher. Here comes Cerebral Gaming, though. They're ready to fight over this one. Yeah, Lucio behind is going to feed his way up here with his beat jams. Let's break it down! Alright, Phoenix has dropped, doing a little bit of zoning there. Judgment pops out, there's a precision strike onto Ewok. Ewok getting low, trying to get out, down to 37 HP and does go down. Phoenix getting chased, Kaisa is trying to get away from this relentless Sonya. <laughs> Sonya is spinning on the enemy team here. Uh, one more fight, only needs a few more. I guess they need 10 more, 12 more. But the fight rages on, down goes Sonya, down goes Midnight Fire. And it looks like this might be a reversal. KT looking on getting some uh, some more of those minions down from range, but it's no longer safe to do so. And Tracer will hearth back to base. Looks like we're gonna see a Cerebral Gaming Punisher at 15, yeah, 15 minutes. In-depth battling of the minions. Bum, ba -da bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. Big wave coming bottom, so Tracer's gonna have to clear that. Kalthos looks like he's gonna go for camp. I guess they're just gonna give their top for it. <laughs> Tracer just gonna have to murder all these poor minions in the mm. bottom. Pew 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 pew. But let's go back to the Punisher up at the top lane. Does get the top for it, and it still has 82% health. And he's ready to party. He's got his stretching going. He's ready to jump over this wall. Yeah! Oh, oh he didn't quite make it. He got <laughs> stuck on the outside. Midnight Fire taking a lot of damage. Down comes another zoning Phoenix from KT. And it looks like Cerebral Gaming doesn't want to push in with this. They're going to go clear mid, maybe take some camps. Uh, they got their top fort, so at least they got something there. Looking to bribe this camp. Oh, it's close. Oh! Yeah, they have, oh, so close. I was going to say, they don't have Diablo. They could win some fight here. Precision strike goes down. Here comes the Planet Cracker into a little nook and cranny. Midnight Fire does go down. Johanna. Ooh, that was close. All right, and the camp is officially stolen there by Cerebral Gaming. Risky play. Love to see it. Good stuff. Xtar okay. says, I think Bloodlust might be a mistake. CG have been executing their judgment blow up combos well enough that Ancestral might have been necessary. Could be, could be. Cushionator is raiding with a party too. Thank you very much. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Welcome to NGS. Uh, Div Div E, Cerebral Gaming versus one more fight, and they are fighting, and they are cerebral indeed. Sonia, 
Free Bowl Green Gaming was trying to check her out, but she got away. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a four v one is not a matchup I want to fight any day. But uh -uh. Uh, good work on getting on out of there. Although we might see a gank bush party. Nope. We are gonna sneak around a little bit over here as we're gonna see this camp getting cleaned up by one more fight. Uh, looking for 20s. 20 talent tier advantage coming over for Cerebral Gaming. And they are going to I'm take down mid on the whole team mid. <laughs> yep. Here comes the Phoenix. A little bit too late to save the fort, but maybe get a little more damage in there. Soften up Cerebral Gaming a little bit if they can. Go Breezy! Judgment! Here comes the Apoc and the Planet Cracker, and it just completely decimates both Rhaegar Tra and Tracer. What a combo. Judgment so hard so hard to block. Uh, and Rhaegar is the one being targeted because they cleansed it out last time. So mm -hmm. interesting targeting here from Cerebral Gaming seems to be working. 20s now online for one more fight. Even talent here, but they have two members dead. I wouldn't go out too far. Here come the retreat pins. Pings, not pins. Check it, it's in the pins. Check it. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. 20 seconds here for a couple more members to respawn on the side of one more fight. Looks like we did have a, a bribe. Of, uh, taking over some camps to help fill in the time, get the lanes pushed out even more. Yeah, there's a lot of blue on the map right now. Uh, there's one camp that's up for the taking, the siege camp. Will this be the camp that determines the, the, the fate of the next objective? Here come both teams. Yeah. Phoenix and Diablo are a little bit behind. One more fight might want to... I don't know if they can bait out the judgment. <laughs> Crush Lander says, check the pins. All right, we are in the thick of it here. Hellstorm is getting low, but we'll backtrack on out of there. And here comes judgment. There's the Apoc and the Planet Cracker. Will it secure another kill? It does. Once again, onto Rhaegar. Echo Rhaegar. getting low. Yes. What, what did I say? <laughs> did I say something different? Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Sometimes I say Rexar. Midnight fight! <laughs> running, running, running! And goes down. Rip. Uh, Echo is, is getting very low as well. That is a triple kill going out to Cerebral Gaming. Oh, and the fire is spreading. Are they going to pass it back and forth? They will. But it will not pass on forever. And the shrine has been started. <laughs> Thank you, Double, for listening to what I'm saying. I hope, because I clearly am not. <laughs> that is the triple kill going out to Cerebral Gaming. Triple kill! Yeah, Tracer and Kalthas are just going to have to clear out some lanes here. Stay safe. They have the time, so Cerebral Gaming is going to grab some camps at the same time. Here comes the Arcane Punisher with that nasty limbo. You cannot go low enough to get under the beams. Yeah, 20 minute Punisher. And those limbo bars. Even Lucio on his rollerblades, you know, doing the roller rink uh, yeah. limbo. Just still, not even, not even for him. Here comes the Phoenix, zoning, zoning, zoning. Punisher leaps over the wall, has a bone to pick with Hellstorm. And now, targeting the keep. Gold Breezy taking it easy in the wind, having to back up just a little bit from those tower shots. So far, pretty good defense. As the Punisher is dropping, they might lose this keep, but they might be able to defend the rest of this push. Here comes the Judgment, here comes the Apoc, there's the Planet Cracker. What a nasty combo. Yeah, Rhaegar. Right Rhaegar again. Ooh, targeting the cleanse on the Rhaegar with that, that, that combo is pretty intense. Uh, the Punisher is down. Echo is getting very low, and Echo falls as well. Gull Breezy chasing a few members back. Midnight Fire. Ooh, run, they're coming for you. All right, a big wall bang and a flip here onto KT. Sound barrier is used, and the core is dropping down to 73%. Double. <laughs> Going down to 60%. Yeah, Phoenix and Diablo are going to have to fight. There's a cannon and a camp. Oh, we got it. Tracer's trying down to 55, 50. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> trying her best. Oh, and she goes down. Ten. Does get the kill on the Diablo. Five. Zero. Jeez. It's just too much. GG's game one going over to Cerebral Gaming. Chives, thank you very much for the raid of Party of Two. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, we are just kicking it here with Div E. Let's take a look at the stats as I adjust the score here. All right, Cerebral Gaming. Takes yeah, so map number one. Some good synergy from Cerebral Gaming with their combo, their APOC, Judgment. Yeah, and Planet Cracker really just. Cracker blah, 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 blah. Oh, here, do, do your best Planet Cracker impression. I can't even. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. It has to be we'll more roboty. <laughs> no, that, that sounds no. like someone's sewer That's line like broke. <laughs> <laughs> Just like all the noise I can make, it is not, sounds nothing like it. Uh, yeah, that uh, well played. <laughs> Lil Poggy says Shives in chat. All right, uh, let's see here 127k hero damage from KT, 87 from Nova, uh, getting that 5 and 0. Not getting taken down once. 24 to 6 as far as kills go. A uh, lot of lot of uh, siege damage here by Phoenix. Kesa. Yeah, just rough. Uh, Rhaegar being targeted and then losing your healer for your fights. Yeah, absolutely. That, that combo just really taking out the healer first, picking the team apart, starting with the healer, getting rid of that cleanse. Uh, that was good adjustment by Cerebral Gaming on changing their target on that. And... Uh, Really, it's hard to stop with that judgment, man. It's coming in. Felt judged. I'm firing my laser, says Shives. All right, very the, good. <laughs> the scales of justice didn't go so well. <laughs> Is that a material thing? Does he talk about justice and stuff? All right, let's look at the maps, and we will uh, we will try to find out where we're headed for game at number two. Double will sing you a song. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's like, excuse to me? To the window! <laughs> to the wall! <sighs> Uh-oh. Copyright the rest. Mm, 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 mm. Man, we should have played Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Brawl, although I usually get kicked around pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, so we will find out where we are headed uh, next. Whether it's, what do you think? Where, where should we go? I uh, guess... I'm gonna guess Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield? Um, what's that's left? Or we, Tomb. We have Alterac, uh, Battlefield of Eternity, Cursed Hollow. We have and Volskaya. Tomb of the Spider Queen, and yeah, and Volskaya. So we will see uh, what is what. When the captains are ready. Yes, indeedy. How's everybody else doing in chat? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching uh, watching this, this, this duke out. All right. So we are going to go to Cerebral Gaming uh, for the map pick. So let's get that rolling. Okay, so what what are you predicting? What would you like to see? You, you were saying BLE? Uh, I'm predicting Battlefield. Oh. I'd like to see Tombs. Well, spoiler, you're right. It is indeed Battlefield of Eternity, so let's update that. Show me BOE. All right, very good. Okay. So we will get this map lobby started here. Uh, Double Dam is moist, apparently, in chat. All right, there you are, Battlefield of Eternity. Let's battle forever. 
there, there should be like some kind of secret like easter egg in, in that map like if you just don't touch anything and like you let the uh if the immortals like fight each other forever like yeah. at like 69 minutes they just like actually start <laughs> damaging each other and then they both die and both spawn No, not a good idea. All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get these teams in here. Enough of your harebrained ideas, Venus. There's more important things at play. All right. So this was chosen by Cerebral Gaming. So the first hero pick will go over to one more fight. Beautiful. I wonder. I just have a get. I, I don't know. I feel like Tyrio might be banned. Could be. Yeah, that setup was pretty brutal. Uh, or you could get rid of the Diablo, I guess. Or, yeah. I mean, I feel like maybe Phoenix, you could do some other things, but it just works so well. Uh, I might uh, I might want to do that myself. That seems like a fun combo. Although I have a feeling if that gets banned out, Cerebral Gaming might have some more tricks up their sleeve. We will find out soon, TM. Soon. Yeah, one more fight. Put up one more fight. Go to a game three. Yeah, put up two more fights. <laughs> uh, do you want to tell that uh, horrible joke that I, I mentioned earlier, Double? Uh, now I can't remember it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you. You'll, you'll know as soon as I start it, but... What makes the sound? Clippity-clop-bang, clippity-clop-bang, clippity-clop-bang. I don't know. What makes that sound? It is a Amish drive-by shooting. <laughs> and the only person who laughed was my soundboard. Everybody else. <laughs> Just disgusted. <laughs> All right, here we go. No offense to the Amish, but I'm sure they use guns. Amish use guns, right? Maybe? Hmm, maybe not. No. No? What about crossbows? Maybe. I don't know. No. We'll have, we'll have to do some... We'll have to... Well, I, I mean, like, know. bows and arrow, that's not really, like, technology. I don't know. They're farmers. Well, we'll look at... But sometimes you need to... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> we have the teams here. Uh, let's see if they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get. Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna get 30 nasty emails from the Amish community. <laughs> well, they won't be seeing your cast because they don't use the interwebs. First, I'll make them watch it. Watch this cast. Are you now offended? Because I am. Jeez. All right, we have one ready. Looking for number two. Two seconds. Two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, go! Uh, <laughs> there's a little uh, contention that not everybody has the same portrait, and it's the Been captain. Fire, not the same portrait, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's coming from the other team. They're, they are shocked that there is a different portrait. Although it does help point out the captain. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I know how, like, in sports, sometimes the captain will wear, like, a special armband or a jersey. <gasps> All right. Here we go. Everyone's ready, and so are we. Let's get into game number two. I said it's because they are my minions. Because everyone said, oh, that's cute. It is cute. Battlefield. <laughs> oh, All all right, first hero pick and ban by one more fight. Let's go. Look at all these in the chat. Yeah, are we gonna Sky see Hypers it? and Baby Yoda hype. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Happy Star Wars Day again to everybody. May the fourth be with you. <gasps> are we see? Did you almost say and also with you? <laughs> and also with you. Yes. Target ban. Yes, Target you band. called it. Nice, nice Oak work. Bands, maybe shred bands. There's so many choices. There are a lot of bands. Uh, I would, I would ban out the KT. I mean, the KT was pretty good mm -hmm. yeah, last game. Yeah, a lot of hero damage. Uh, a lot of fire being spread. A lot of, uh, a lot of burning. 
Deathwing. Nobody wants you. Go to bed. <laughs> Go take a nap, Deathwing. Come back again next time. Ewok in the chat. What up? And playing at the same... Oh. And playing at the same time? No, it looks like we did a little bit of swap. Uh, Mistil Tin Team? Mistil Team? It looks like Swap Great. Team. I get to pronounce that. You get a fun name. That's Mistel what they went for. The me. Ewok last me. game. <laughs> yeah, poor Ewok did get targeted a lot last game. Um, it was a ruthless strategy. Yeah, poor it's Ewok. seemed to work. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. That's a voice I will not do again. I apologize. Zool. First pick, Zool. Anduin must be a target ban here. Either that or they have, uh, Cerebral Gaming has some kind of uh, comp up their sleeve that they don't want protected against. Instantaneous lock on Li Ming and Grey Mane. Grey Mane, a good choice for the angel fight. <laughs> <laughs> for the heavenly battle thing. <laughs> uh, Echo on Zul, Midnight Fire on the Johanna. And there's, there it is. He's back. Lord Gaik, picking up that KT, slinging that fire. It's lit. It's Kale Blast. Wow. And it worked. Sorry, what? I said it's Kalfa's bitch better work. Oh, like Britney Spears is it better Britney. better work? Oh, it's it's Britney. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Now Furian bands, so two healer bands on the side of Cerebral Gaming and that Deathwing. What healer are we going to see? I have a feeling it's not Rhaegar. Unless somebody else plays Rhaegar. Ewok says, shh, don't tell anybody that he's not in the draft. <laughs> He or she. Anna. Look at all these healer bands. Two healers still needed, maybe. Unless we're going to get really spicy draft. Uh, I don't know. They might pick up Lucio again. Lucio! Uh, yeah, could be. Uh, Diablo is still around, too. Alganis. I like Stukov here, too, I but. Need. Yeah, Malganis, Gold Breezy. Oh, Taronda, Taronda, yes. Hunter's Mark. Taronda, where are you, Taronda? I just went shopping for 10 minutes, Malfurion. Calm down. Lucio Steel. Ooh, oh, spicy. <laughs> Maybe just borrowed. One more fight wants to try him out this time. The Holy Simps. I don't know what that means in chat. I guess that would be, I don't know. Well, we get Tracer again. Uh, we will see what this last pick is here for Cerebral Gaming. Uh, what is? What do you mean by the Holy Simp Seos? Maybe it's a Johanna. Who are we gonna pick? I did Terriel last, I don't see him. All right, so we're probably gonna maybe maybe we'll see a stronger solo laner. Yep, there's the diva. Uh, she wants to let everybody know about her winky face. Winky face. Mm-hmm. There's that. And it looks like we will not be hearing from Deckard Kane at all. Oh, oh, oh! Stay a while and oh. Except for that. Thanks, Deckard. We appreciate it. All righty. Thank, Thank you, next. Next! All right. Oh, instead of Immortals, it's Immortals. All right, I like it. We're going to get into game number two. Here we go. All right, welcome to game number two. Uh, let's get started. Here on the left-hand side, we have Cerebral Gaming. We have John Us, 
on the Taronda. We have Novel's Waifu here on the Li Ming. We have Keza on the Diva. Gold Breezy on the Malganus. And Sleepy Bear playing that Grey Mane. One more fight. Red, red, right side, red, red. Midnight Fire is Johanna, Echo, Zul, Hellstorm, Tracer, Lord Gaic, Kalthos, and Mistletoe, Lucio. Excellent. Thank you very much for the host, my Jewish cat. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And the Div E action continues for NGS down here in the bottom of a big stun there onto Hellstorm, but we'll be able to recover. Diva versus Zul. This will be an interesting matchup. What do you think, Double? Yeah. He, it, she's not really that good of a target to get with your skeleton in jail, so probably a pretty good choice. Might just be able to chip away a little bit, maybe not doing a lot of real damage, but might be able to stack some skeletons if that quest is chosen. We do once again have Mana Addict here on the KT. Uh, let's see, what else? What other goodies? We have Winged Guard here on Malganus. That's probably... let's see. Alright, well that's probably not going to do a whole lot of good against a Tracer, but... Tracer was picked afterwards, so maybe maybe that's to directly counter that. Who knows? Midnight Fire getting a little bit low here. Greyman goes in, having to pop that Iron Skin to back on up. Hellstorm getting low, but so is Gold Breezy. And the Waifu run! Oh my goodness. Whew. A lot of action down bottom, but still no kills. Oh, Greyman. All right, let's see what else we're working with. We are doing Hold Your Ground and Shackler. I do like the Shackler for Zul. I just I think slowing enemies helps you get away sometimes when you uh, when you run out of out of escapes. Yeah. So here we go. Maybe a siege camp pick up here by one more fight. Getting some big old orbs in the Noble's Waifu, dropping those there onto one more fight. Hellstorm says, I've had enough. I'm out. <laughs> Hearth, Hearth's right in front of the gate. Does not get hit, though. And maybe this is an opportunity for Cerebral Gaming to come take this siege camp. Yeah, Lucy is going to start the Bruiser camp. I just noticed that it doesn't show Diva's health bar at the very top of my screen. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Well, everyone's like, no, not really that interesting, but, uh, you know, anyways, I just thought I'd point that out. I'm like, oh, is D.Va dead? Nope. D.Va's still up. Camp time. Immortal's up in 20 seconds. The Bruiser camp is going to be picked up by one more fight, and we're going to see it worked on over here as well by Cerebral Gaming. 12 seconds. Who do you think has the better shred, Double? Oh, gosh. Um, Taronda has her trait and gray mane. I yeah. think Cerebral Gaming. Hunter's Mark could come to play in here and be quite effective. And it's going to be a defense here from one more fight as we're fighting on the Red Immortal. Big stun, though, onto Zul. I'm sorry, excuse me, Greymane. And uh, that there's a double push bottom going for Cerebral Gaming. Those camps just pushing right along. And it looks like Zul and Lucio are going to go respond to it. Yeah, Diva's done clearing the top camp, so she's going to join the fight now. Going to go to halftime in just a little bit as it's a 5v4 up top as Lucio rejoins to heal on up. Here comes the Diva Bomb. Ooh, is it going to catch anybody? No, it does not, but it does get us to halftime. Johanna's in, in trouble as Midnight Fire goes down, and that is the first blood going over to Cerebral Gaming. Diva getting you. knocked to heck out of her mech you. and goes down. There's a nice counter kill, kill you. from one more fight. On Taronda. Sleepy Bear is about to go to sleep for a little bit. And this immortal does go down. Alright, so the first immortal is going to go over to Cerebral Gaming. Oh, go Breezy down to 16 HP and survives. Dang. <laughs> Sorry for my language. Holy frick. What the heck? Gosh darn it. <laughs> Golly gee whiz. All right, first objective going over Cerebral Gaming. Let's see what defense that one more fight can put up here to take it on down. Back to the ground. 
It is about to lose all of its shield. Shield's gone, mm -hmm. yeah. Got the wall. All right, we did pick up Lunar Blaze here for Tyrande, trying to get those Lunar Flares stacked. Moonlit Arrows. All right, excellent. More auto attacks, reducing cooldown. Heal more. So we got the whole front wall, both of the towers, and about maybe three quarters of that fort. And now we fight here for the top camp. Fight over the camp. <gasps> Sneaky Zool, Sneaky Zool coming up. Sleepy Bear is getting a little bit low. Malganis doesn't care. He's going in. He smells blood. Oh, here comes Zool. Zool has entered the entered the fight. Oh, a lot of fire damage spreading. Oh, 5 HP on Sleepy Bear. Will survive. And this camp is going to be claimed here by one more fight. Zool will return down to the bottom. Get that... Get that uh, D.Va pushed back just a little bit. Wow. Very close. I can't believe more people didn't drop in that top yeah. fight. So trying to re-engage maybe a little bit onto... Oh, Johanna pulls in. Johanna does fall. And there goes Lucio as well. Jumping in on his target. This, this, uh, Sleepy Bear, watch out. And the Leeming Orbs, my goodness, on, uh, Noval's Waifu. Sleepy mm. Bear has a monster, because he ain't so sleepy. Oh, snap! Oh, that reminds me, I should drink a monster right now. Sponsored by <laughs> Yeah, monster. not sponsored by Monster, but, uh, <laughs> Monster, if you're looking. Uh, roar! I don't know. Sugar-free zero. If you want to drink something that tastes like crap and will make you start jittering around from all the sugar, try Monster. If you're watching your waistline, try the zero carb. <laughs> Just forget it. Because how could you make bad tasting taste even worse? Make it a diet version. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Back to the game. We do have halftime. We do have a big lead here for... Uh, for Cerebral Gaming as they have dropped the Immortal down to half. Tens are online for both teams though, so look for those heroic abilities coming on out. Here comes Poison the Diva Bomb. Oh, Alien Echo! Storm. Down goes the Zul, and this fight is not over yet. Very low in the back, and there's the kill onto Li Ming. Here comes Sound Barrier. Hellstorm running, and does go down. There goes the Tracer. Sleepy bears trying to get those last minute claws in. It's very, very low. There's only 928 health left on the red immortal. Guys are getting out with under 40 HP, but still in the mech. Yeah, they definitely. Cerebral Gaming has time to heal up and head over again. They certainly do, and that's what they're going to do. We do have Carrion Swarm here on Monganus. We have Wave of Force on Leaming, Shadow Stock on Tyrande. Big shot from D.Va and go for the throat. On that gray man, gonna be jumping in, doing even more damage, targeting people like KT, Lucio, and probably Tracer too. Yeah, Johanna is taking blessed shield, little poison poison nova, tracer quantum spike, Kalthos, pyroblast, and Lucio took sound barrier. Oh, break it down! Alright, so here is the immortal pushing down in the bottom lane, wrecking that front gate. One more tower to go, then to the fort. We do have some uh, heroic abilities coming off cooldown. Poison Nova's up. Blessed Shield's up. Oh my goodness. There is a kill there onto Zul. And there is Go for the Throat used by Greymane. Continuing to push, there's still pretty much the entire health bar left on this immortal. Midnight Fire is under attack and yeah, does go awesome. down. Wave of Force. Wow. Whew. The coordination we're seeing from Cerebral Gaming is pretty awesome as far as stacking ults and follow-up. Pretty good. Uh, defense has been pretty good from one more fight as well, so let's see yeah. what they can do here. Definitely get that synergy and you just keep hitting your mark. It's a big domino effect. 
All right. It looks like the they're going to save the keep. Good news for one more fight as they are down talent tier looking for 13s. 13s have already come online here for Cerebral Gaming. They are going to head on down to the bottom siege camp. Pick that up. Keep that pressure going. There's a couple more camps available on the map in the top. Yeah, in the so mid. we're going to try and push off the top lane. Maybe he can get the fort. Yeah, getting that fort would definitely help with some of the catapult pressure, for sure. Uh, we do have Johanna trying to do the long the long way around to get back to her team. Alright, so there's a big wave in the top. It's going to be picked up by D.Va. There is this camp in the bottom that does need to be clear at some point. Tracer's going to try to do what, she, what they can there. Uh... But probably should get healed up, and Lucio comes in. Yeah, Cerebral Gaming gonna go for the top siege camp. Let the healing Light. music. Ooh, here we go. Oh, Shadow Ooh, hunting okay. Zool. There's a nice stun from Taronda, and Greymane Lucio finishes the, off the kill. Too late. Oh wow, that was a sneaky use there of Shadow Stock. Probably what its intended purpose was, and uh, well played there. Getting that pick off by Cerebral Gaming, and they're going to try and steal this camp. Here comes the Pyroblast. Will Impact will not quite take Toronto down all the way yet, uh, but it is going to be a kill there on well, Johanna. Is being targeted by the tower. Oof. Diva escaping with 50 HP, and we're going to hearth back, get some more mana, get some more health here for Cerebral Gaming, and then they'll probably join the rest of their compatriots. Oh, <laughs> oh Diva goes down to the Immortal. At least the mech does. Could have been intentional. Might want to just get a new skin, get a new robot friend. Refresh. In the top, though, we're going to see one more fight. Maybe they're going to go and push down this tower. Now that we're at the halftime, yep, they're going for it, I think. Someone's going to have to take tank these tower shots. And they do get the port. All right, here comes Malganis. Yeah, Johanna's coming up to meet up with her squad. Instead, Cerebral Gaming, they just want to take down this immortal, get the objective. One more fight, come on. All right, here we go. There's a bone prison there onto Diva. It's going to stun him up a little bit. Gold Breezy getting low. Echo does go down, though. There goes, there goes one, but the fight is continuing. Sleepy Bear Sleepy on bear. fire. Done, will be, will be managed to be okay. And it's going to be Cerebral Gaming who picks up this next immortal. And they are chasing Midnight Fire. Oh, can't quite make it out. Although very low on the side of Cerebral Gaming. Just can't quite find those kills. And there's two members down now on the side of one more fight. Double kill. Ooh, sorry, I'm a little parched. I need shield on this immortal. I need some of that sweet tea, iced tea, lemonade. <laughs> All right, here is the push coming in. And the health bars are a little bit low on the side of Cerebral Gaming, so maybe some kind of push here can work. Oh, yeah, Pyroblast! Pyro Ooh, gets, it does get the Grey Man. It does put a significant amount of damage there onto Li Ming. Defense so far going well for one more fight. Gulbreezy manages to get bats off. <laughs> Carry them. Swarm. Spooky bats. Uh, Spooky bats. <laughs> uh, but the fight is still raging here, and it is a one for one. We do have 16 talents here. Advantage for Cerebral Gaming. Here comes Break It Down. This could be engaged here on to Gulbreezy. The Immortals still doing work. Does take down the keep. Although, fighting down talent tier, uh, good defense for one more fight. Could have been, could have been way worse. Yeah. Bottom keep is a little bit threatened here. Will be responded to. Tracer and Lucio trying to do. Trying to do the Lord's work on their own. <laughs> they might need a little backup. Oh, uh, Zul's not quite there. This is going to turn into an outnumbered fight quite quickly. There goes D.Va chasing Lucio. Lucio getting low. Bone Prison there onto Malganis. Very good. Oh, and Greymane just goes for the throat, and Lucio is no more. 
That should take out the keep. There it goes. All right. Cerebral Gaming takes down the bottom keep as well. Uh, and they might might be pushing in here. I'm pushing for a fight. It's gonna back up. They're gonna go for the camp. Kai's is the gonna cord, back it up. Cord does help do damage now, so don't have enough minions and. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a patient. Oh, down goes Tracer. I think that's a very patient call here by Cerebral Gaming. I think could tell they kind of wanted to try and end, but no reason to force it. Then they could fight outside. Diva loses her mech, but Greyman goes in uh, and Lee Ming, and they get that kill there onto, onto Zul once again. Then Stoppable will end, and down goes Johanna. Oh, Mega Orbs. Down goes and KT. Orbs. And it looks like this is going to be a wrap-up for game number two. Going over to Cerebral Gaming as they start on the core. Lucio's still up, but there's still 20, 30 seconds left for the other members here of one more fight. Yes. GG's coming out. GG's in chat. GG's well played. Game number two going over to Cerebral Gaming for the 2-0. Oh! Oh, oh. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. Whoa. Sorry. My bad. No more singing, Weenus. All right. Okay. Uh, 17 to 6, still more kills. Uh, significant amount of more kills on Cerebral Gaming. Uh, winning those team fights, being up talent tier, uh, having some more wombo combos. Uh, Sleepy Bear. And Diva both getting four kills, but Lee Ming with eight, pumping out that 57k hero damage. No balls, Waifu. Uh, let's see. What do you think, Double? You see anything here that you wanna you wanna go over? Uh, Jeez. Zul trying to do that siege damage, uh, but he had to come in and help his team fight a lot, so didn't get as much pressure in the lane. Yeah, it was it was interesting. Uh, but when when Zul uh, like when Zul came up, it seemed like the fights kind of went in their favor. But then yeah. you know, already being behind in Soak, it kind of made it you know push that XP down a little bit and uh, that talent tier advantage. But uh, I I thought uh, I thought one more fight played well. Uh, they had some excellent defenses. Uh, they had some good some good pushes in game number one as well on the offense. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's that is the match. What do you what do you say about trying to get an interview? What do you think, Double? Yes, please. All right, here are the maps. All right, let's see if we can get uh, a member from Cerebral Gaming. See if they want to do a little interview action. Okay. All right, Double. Let's go what? to. How about Lobby 2? You want to go over there? Yeah. Okay, let's go there. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, time to bring back the chickens. There we go. On screen. Not anybody in the game. Hey, Gold Breezy, welcome, hello, congratulations uh, on the 2-0 victory tonight. Well played. Thanks. How are you guys feeling tonight? Uh, feeling okay. We're uh, we're new to Hots, coming from League, so playing a lot of Storm League, learning the game, feeling good. Excellent, right on. Uh, so you guys have some experience in MOBAs before coming to Heroes of the Storm. It sounds like. Yeah, a little bit. We didn't really play as a team, and we just sort of fooled around. Okay, cool. Uh, so, what what uh, brought you guys to playing Heroes of the Storm? Did you have some one of your friends that was dabbling in it, and then pulled the others in, or what? What's the story there? Yeah, basically, League's having a little bit of a weird season. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, breath of fresh air. Is yeah, the thing? Yeah, to do something yeah. different. Do something different. It's not as serious. No one cares if we win or lose. It's it's, so, yeah. it's people are a little less salty, a little less toxic playing yeah, here yeah, than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sometimes you're playing a game and you're like, you know, I'm not having fun. Like, 
games are supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun, maybe you're playing the wrong game or just need to take a little bit of a break every now and then. Absolutely. Yep. Cool. All right, so how did you guys hear about NGS? Um, I think Reddit. Pretty yeah. sure Reddit. Okay, cool. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, I think Murda and Goliath helped run that, so uh, uh, kudos to those guys. Um, so uh, what did you guys expect going into the match tonight? Do you have any expectations? Did you do any research on the other on the enemy team? Um, we did a lot of research for the other one, and it was like on Friday, and I didn't have a chance to do any for this one because it was so quick. Yeah. Um, so not much other than they were like the number one team in some power ranking that I saw or something. Oh, we okay. Were two. So oh. I guess we, we expected a good game, so and we got one, so that's good. Excellent. Um, but that's all I really that's all I really knew. Yeah, the power rankings at the very beginning of the season sometimes, you know, there was like, you know, we don't have enough data, so we're just taking some guesses here, but it's always nice to like uh, you know, get a win over a team that is is ranked higher than you. You're like, ah, maybe I'll take their spot in the next power rankings. Who knows? Uh mm -hmm. so uh couple anduin bands is that just a hero that you don't like playing against or because it sounds like maybe that wasn't wasn't necessarily scouting um or was it kind of i was thinking maybe it's because it, it could disrupt some of your amazing wombo combos but uh, you also don't have to answer if it's too much strategy revealing so um yeah yeah anduin's really annoying to play against especially yeah you know, yeah yeah when you're like hunting someone down and they're almost dead just whoop just pull them right out or just uh give yeah. everybody a big old shield yeah uh that combo that you guys played in game one uh with the judgment on Tyrael, the apoc on diablo and uh the uh planet cracker on phoenix that combo was insane is that something that you guys have developed recently yeah yeah we do it in storm league a lot um it's pretty fun i saw it the big uh... oh go ahead sorry Oh no, yeah, we have a couple different variations of it. Um, it's pretty fun. It, it's kind of tilting. I didn't really want to use an NGS, but it was a good map for it, so we did it. I saw at the beginning, you I forget who your first target was, but then you started switching it over to Rhaegar once you started using his cleanse. Uh, is, that, uh, is that some heavy targeting on Rhaegar intentional? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if they take cleanse, you gotta, you gotta kill the cleanser. Mm -hmm. And I saw somebody saying he should have taken... Um, the other ult, but I don't know if that would have helped because I feel like by the time the ancestral goes off, like we haven't done any damage. Sure, I don't you know the exact timing, but yeah, yeah, you'd have it's to like rough. you'd have to like put it when they're at seventy five percent health, and by the time it goes off, hope it's hope they're still alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, a crazy. You gotta win the fight. You gotta win the fight afterwards. I don't know how it's really beat it. Yeah, one hundred to zero. That's uh, that was that was quite a, a wombo combo. Double. Did you have anything that you want to talk about in game one? No, you already talked about it. Oh, no, did I take your question? <laughs> okay, do you have any questions about game number two, Double? You go first. Um, so let's see. We were at Battlefield of Eternity. Uh, so you guys went with some of some shred, like Grey Maid, um, and you went with Malganus, and you pulled off some different stuns there. So is he a character you like to play often? Um... Yeah, uh, Malganus is pretty fun. Uh, Garage pretty fun. Oh, I mean, there's not that many tanks in this game, honestly. Mm. So, um, I don't really have one that I like absolutely hate playing. Yeah, yeah, we it, could go for a new tank, at li Blizzard. Listen to that, uh, everyone who's scouting. He can play all the tanks. You cannot tank, tank choke him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very good. Uh, and also, yeah, some of those sleeps setting up. Awesome targets for uh, Li Ming, Noble's Waifu. Just throwing in some big old fatty orbs uh, on a target that's not moving is always fun. Um, mm -hmm. I okay. One, I have one other question about uh, about game number two, and that is Taronda and you guys all stacked up in the very top and used Shadow Stock and just completely took uh, Zul by surprise. Is that a technique that you guys practice often? I guess that's the point of Shadow Stock, right? Is to be sneaky? Um, I wouldn't say we pra I think it was heat in the moment, just kind of lucky. We definitely have not practiced it. Well, the coordination seemed really seemed really awesome. Do you have a, a single shot caller or do you guys do community or do you do something else for that? Um, community, I would say. Three or four of us. 
Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, I think that's all the questions I have. Double, do you have anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Well, okay, one last question. Crunchy or smooth peanut butter? What does it have to be? Oh, crunchy it has to be. Oh, yes. What do you think, Double? Actually, I, don't, I haven't asked you. I'm, I'm on crunchy side. I like crunchy. Oh, we're just a whole boat full of crunchers. Like a little bit of the one with a little bit of honey too, peanut butter honey. Mm. Sure. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, for the interview. Do you have any shout outs uh, before we let you get on out of here? Um, just shout out to the team. Don't really know anyone else plays the game yet. We're getting to know people through NGS. So shout out to NGS, I guess. Excellent. Yeah. There's uh, everyone's got their div chats and you can kind of, you know, sometimes meet some new new fun friends through uh through either general or through the uh your own division chat so it's it's a it's a fun place and i've let a lot, met a lot of great people including double so all right well thank you very much for joining us and congratulations once again on the win and uh we'll let you get on out of here and we will uh we'll look forward to seeing your guys' yeah. progress the rest of the season good luck the rest of the season all right thanks guys all right thank you're welcome you. to the lose back to double back to the double. Mm, mm, mm. Goodbye, chickens. There she is. All right. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, I love Keza. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Shive saying, uh, every tank they try to bring in just becomes an off laner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking about bringing a new tank in uh, to, uh, to Heroes of the Storm. Cerebral Gaming says, Ektar, we're going to kill this hero. And went not so fast. <laughs> uh, always shout out mom and Valkmer's mom. Yes, yes. Good point, Shives. Good point. Uh, trying to find Valk's mom on Twitch. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe we should make one and then post heartwarming videos. I don't know. Uh, thanks, Double, for co-casting with me. I appreciate it. I know it's getting late over there. It's almost 11. Getting close to yeah. 11. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, you can follow Double Dam on Twitter at dam underscore double. You can find her on the NGS Discord. Uh, tag her, ping her often with notes of love and joy. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Moist Weenus. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Moist Weenus, and in the NGS Discord with my dumb memes and dad jokes. I think that's going to do it for us. Thanks, everybody uh, in chat. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting. Uh, we will see you next time. And uh, thanks for joining. Yeah. Thanks. These are your, these are your teams. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.